Hello there, guys. And here we got Contradanza, played by Vanessa May. Background as I elaborate forever on Eternals, a film that upon release got very mixed reviews. I'm surprised the audience score is kind of that is that high. I thought it'd be lower. Well, anyway, so when I first saw this, um, I had the, the the reviews of the critics in my head, like sort of like like, like deep in my thoughts. So I I feel I felt like, oh, okay, I, I see what you mean. It wasn't really good, but then I saw it a second time, and I really liked it a lot more. Huh. It's it's like the most sort of a liberal um, interpretation of like the mar the Marvel uh, formula, I I, I think. Especially since the director made that um, Academy Award Best Picture Nomadland. What's her name? Chloe Zhao? I think that's how you pronounce her name. Yeah, so this film's got like a whole cast of like... I mean, <laughs> like it's really diverse. I, I think they really took the heart like, okay, we need like a really diverse cast. I'm not complaining about it. I mean, it's refreshing. It's cool. Yeah, like Umal Nanjiani. See, I had never even pronounced these people's names before but I've seen them in so many other things so whatever what am I talking about so yeah Eternals is a uh, is more um, descriptive of the MCU so it's a more important film for the MCU than than I realized when it comes yeah to the whole cinematic universe and ha having to like talk about these characters who have kind of been in this universe from the very beginning and have their storylines like all the way to the present day like sort of uh you know talked about and, and seen it's kind of impressive actually and it's a really clean glossy looking film because that's sort of how these eternal uh superheroes are anyway um the effects are, are obviously really good you know, and uh, I, I like how it mixes in, how, how the characters mix in with different uh, civilizations throughout human history. And the, the the scenes where the Eternals, like, are with groups of people throughout, like, different historical periods are not rushed. Like, I, I like how this film is long, which <laughs> is it's kind of a, a criticism. But I, it's nice that it lets a lot of scenes of uh, a uh, breathe, so to speak. Like, and you really, uh, you really get into the environment or the tone of all the scenes and all the you know interactions taking place and the themes that are being brought up about like humanity. So it's a really humane film in the sense that yeah, humanity as a whole is sort of um, observed through like yeah all of human history. And also the characters themselves, the Eternals, you know, human characteristics, you know, they they love, they imagine, and they have their own struggles too. Um so it's a different type of film in in in, in the MCU, even though um Yeah, you know, it's like an origin story and then you got like this big CGI battle in the end, but it's not even that big of a CGI battle. It's really um uh ingrained in the story and impressed, uh, impressed by it so yeah i recommend it i mean if you're into the mcu definitely has a specific audience so yeah check it out